I made it back and I feel so much better. I did some crunches, went for my short walk, uh, feeling a lot better. Um, I talked about regimenting your day and I'm going to tell y'all, <laughs> you know, yeah, you got to have a regimen to your day, but if you are going through a process of where there is something that needs to be dealt with, your emotions, your mind state and all that comes first. So, you know, that comes first, <laughs> but yeah, regimen your day because, you know, you have other things to juggle as well. Um, but yeah, and exercise helps a lot. Just getting out and getting some air helps a lot as well. Um, so, yeah, um, feel much better. I did my little crunch workout to some Korean hip hop. Like I said, I would have wanted to walk all the way to Timbuktu tonight, and then I would have wanted to come home do my crunches. Then I would have wanted to do some dancing. But as y'all know, um, I do have something in the morning. If that doesn't work out, I think I am going to take that commission thing and um, just bang it out there. Um, one thing I wanted to mention too, just always touching on, you know, whenever something comes up, I'm going to mention it. But remember how I was saying how um, I felt like, you know, the situation previously was bad and I blamed it all on the other girl. But really, the landlord had a big part in it too. And then... Like, when a new situation came, I allowed some time to pass, and I hit the reset button, and was going to start <laughs> start anew. And then I was trying to impress the landlord to let him know that, you know, I wasn't that type of person or, you know, whatever, that negative vibe energy that was all around. But it was like, when I think about it, that was stupid because you're trying to impress somebody that didn't care, that <laughs> did not give two cents about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how they used to talk about in church trying to impress the Joneses. The Joneses don't care about you. And, you know, you're trying to impress people that do not care, you know, about you. Period. You know? They didn't care if you lived or died. If you got cut up, chopped up or what. As long as they got their money. You know? So, it's just... And a lot of times people... And it's a form of abuse. And, a, and, um, and it's so funny because I'm starting to hear this now. Um, I was in a situation previously after the legal thing where, um, same kind of situation, I was in a room, but I didn't realize, I thought it was just a room, but I didn't realize it was a transitional place or something like that, and there was a lot of drug people, and these places always have those kind of people, some people hide it better than others, and then there's people that's been rang through that's not on drugs or alcohol, but just don't have anybody like me, and, um, I'm just gonna say, I remember the the owner did not care. He had like one room, okay, and he had two bunk beds in one room, and he was putting guys and girls in together. Didn't care. Luckily for me, and I say luckily, I didn't have a real bad situation. It was me and these two guys, but I didn't have a bad situation, meaning that none of them were rapists or nothing crazy like that. Um, of course, you know, being a needy person I am as far as needy meaning, um, you know, no family, no friends. So I latched on and of course, you know, attempts were made to take advantage of me, but you know, nothing, nothing really, you know, came of it itself. You know, my feelings were hurt a little bit that again, same like situation of these people did not care about me. Well, I didn't really care about one. I cared about one more than the other. But because that one was the first one that came and we bonded first. But these people didn't care about me as much as I cared about them. And that's every situation, you know, um, that I've ever been in. So, I mean, it is what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and print this out. I'm going to keep y'all with me while I do it because I want to make sure <laughs> that I do it. And I don't get sidetracked because it needs to be done. And I am going to the scene tomorrow. I'm going to call Mr. Such and Such. After that's over, and tell him, hey, I'm ready to come right now and do it. I know it's up. I need it, so I'm going to do it. So that's what it's all about. And the feeling I got, too, I felt a little bit bad about. Like I said, when I was in here and I was talking to him when that guy called me, the owner walked past. And I think that he was disappointed because he knew that it was about for a second, that um, there might be a possibility that I might have something. You understand me? So he seemed this, you can, this the energy, you know, like, cause he's probably already made up his mind that he's probably going to try to get that other old lady to 
listening, whatever. But I don't know. You know, so and maybe he just wants to phase out everybody that was in here before, but so whatever it is, like I said earlier today, me versus you. I need to stay strong and do whatever it is it takes me to do. I need to keep my body right. <laughs> and you know, I got some work to do, but I'm working on it. So we're gonna already claim it. Keep the body right. Um, keep the mind right. And then, uh, you know, keep the finances right because all of that stuff is important. Because I mean, I know for sure now that it is there is nobody but me, and that's just how it's gonna be. So I need to make sure that I have mind, body, soul, finances, all of that straight. I'm social. I don't know. That's gonna be, that's we gonna work on that. You know, like I said, you know, my experience has been that you know I find people that I think. You know, I can relate to and whatever. And, you know, always I I give a damn more than they do. So, and that's not romantic because I'm not looking for that type of thing. But that's just related, period. I care too much. Pas- too passionate. And so, when you see people that you think are the most abrupt, rude, whatever, abrupt people that, you know, basically leave you alone and they're abrupt, it's because they're passionate. They're too passionate. They've been around a little bit enough to know that, um, that is all BS <laughs> and they care too much and that's all it is so you know give them a break you know just leave them alone and if they see something if they are moved by you enough to see something that they like if you can if you have the generosity in your heart to be welcoming do it if you don't then just be honest so they don't waste your time so anyways I said I was going to do this print this while y'all are here but I think I'm good I think I can do this on my own <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do so later